What do this dog and this strawberry have in common? Well, besides the fact that the dog wants to eat it, they both have DNA. We're not going to get any out of the dog, but we'll get some out of the strawberry. So what do you need? You need salt, isopropyl alcohol, 90% and above would be better, soap, a glass, strawberries, a plastic baggie, something to get the DNA. This is a wooden bam or a bamboo skewer. I don't have a pipette, so I'm going to use this metal straw and you need a strainer. You'll also need measurement tools, tablespoons, teaspoons, and something to measure the water that we're going to use. One thing you'll notice is that the alcohol is on ice. You can also just put it in your freezer to get it very cold. So in the cup, I have about 90 milliliters or, or four ounces of water, a little less than that. And now I'm going to add about two teaspoons of soap to it and give it a stir. Why do we need soap? Well, we need soap to break up the cell membranes that it's going to be around the strawberry. We're going to do a little mechanical mixing as well to break up the cell walls because plants have cell walls as well as cell membranes. Now we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt to it. We need the salt as well because that salt is going to help us get the DNA out of the mixture. I'm giving this a really good stir. Now I'm going to put the strawberry. I'm going to take the top off because I don't really need the leaves. And I'm going to put it in our Ziploc bag and pour our extraction mixture into the bag. Now here's where you get to be a little messy. Let's make sure we get most of the air out of the bag before we lock it up. And now we're going to smush. I want to make sure not all the air gets out, but we're going to smush. So back in a moment when I get it all smushed up. Now I just put my mixing container and my strainer and my mushed up strawberries. We've broken up most of the cell walls in here. And that soap has also broken up the cell membranes. So now we're going to get the cytoplasm and all the nuclear materials, that's where the DNA is, out of those cells. And we're going to strain it so that we don't have these chunks. Now, you can just cut the corner of the bag, but I want to reuse my bag. So I'm just going to pour this stuff out slowly and let it filter. So here's where I'm going to add an extra step that you don't have to, but it just makes it a little bit easier than for me to see it in this big container. I'm going to pour just a little bit of this halfway up into my smaller container. This means I won't get as much DNA, but it can be easier for us to see. So I've got the chilled isopropyl alcohol and then my straw that I'm going to use as my pipette. I'm going to stick it in the straw with my finger not on top and then put the finger on top so I'm going to be drawing it out. And then very gently I want to add this to here. I'm going to add one more. Usually you could do about one tablespoon. You could also do a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in in just a bit so you can see where the DNA is. And here we go to zoom. Do you see that stuff that looks like snot? That's the DNA. Now I'm gonna reach in here and pick up this DNA for you to see and bring it a little closer. That looking snot is the strawberry DNA. Try this at home. So I happen to have this little jar in which I put isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to try and get my DNA off of my skewer. It really likes skewers. And now 
You can just have it floating in there. I'll try and get it a little bit. There's actually more in my cup. I'm not gonna try and get it all out. So from this, we got this DNA. And we're going to do a close up so that you can see the DNA floating in the isopropyl alcohol. So why is it that we can get the DNA from the strawberry so easily? It's because the strawberries that we farm, as Andre tries to lick this, have eight times the amount of DNA as, say, a wild strawberry would. So, got an extra strawberry, maybe one that's going bad? Go ahead and make some DNA. Thanks for spending time with the Pensacola Mess Hall. Keep messing around while you're at home.